welcome to our tutorial 3 so today we are going to learn about holes mirrors and something all about uh, sketches like modifications and line so let's just begin so today we are going to draw this diagram as you can see the 3d model and this is the 2d model and this is the top view so today i'm working on the top axis this is the top axis now click on sketch button okay now click on this now i need to place center line Okay, from this command press middle button next I need to draw a rectangle dimension which is 15 and 25 this is 15 and this one is 25 next thing we need to draw these circles this is 3 this is also 3 Okay, my bad. Control Z. And dia is 3. So, next thing I'm going to do is uh, copy this copy this hole the all, all these four uh, all these remaining three parts for this i'm going to use mirror command now click on that circle and click on mirror and click on the axis about which you want to mirror it like this now control click okay and click on this axis mirror and access here it is so next thing okay click on ok button click on extrude now let's see what's the height height is 6 so I can directly give it before that I would like to place it in the center you can see and depth is 6 now click on ok so we got our initial step done next thing we can uh, make uh, make round at the edges which is of dia 1 sorry dia 2 so I'm just making it right now this is 1 Click on OK. Next, we need to make this part which is remove material. So, I'm going to draw it. Next thing you uh, need to do is you need to place a plane. For that, click on plane and click on the surface as I did it and click on OK. OK. Next thing we need to do a sketch over here click on sketch and uh, 
click on this button now reference all these four lines click on ok now I need to draw I need to draw these circles over here which are of radius 4 two circles so I'm drawing a circle another circle this is 6 so these two circles are of diameter 8 and the distance from this point to this point is 16 and now we have to draw a tangent between them for this we are using a tangent line click on this circle and this circle this circle and this circle okay now we have to trim the unrequired lines which are these we are done click ok now click on extrude how much that we need this is 3 and remove material ok next thing we need to draw these circles these holes for that I am choosing this surface click on extrude again reference this would be enough this is of dia 5 so 5 click on ok and uh, that is 1.5 inverted 1.5 and material remove ok again click on this circle now I am using this hole to use this hole you need to first place the axis like I am selecting this axis and uh, other one is this one ok here is the dia and its dia is 3 and we need it in center so I am giving this 0 and this is also 0 We can edit this one. Edit definition.
how much do you need? This is three. So we are done with this. Next, we need this hole, this one, and these two. For that, I'm selecting this part, this plane. Now click on sketch. Now uh, again click on reference and click this, ok. Click on ok and click on extrude. So how much it is? It is 4.5 from the top surface. One point five. This side and trim. Next thing. Again the same surface. These are through holes. So for that, again I'm taking reference. This would be enough. Now I'm drawing a circle. And its radius is its radius is not given, I guess. So let's just assume it to be a radius um, some around five or uh, some around four. Sorry. Dia of four. I just take it four point five. Okay, click OK, and it's a through hole. So remove material. Click OK. Again, the surface. Extrude or better cancel. Yes, this surface hole uh, sorry, same ready, uh, same center. So I'm placing this on center. I need to edit this entity. This is four. Ah, now it's done. Now click on green button. Now our part is ready. Let's render it.
yellow I'm choosing red for these through holes okay and uh, green for the upper part top view and blue for the side dimensions click on ok and we are done Click on save. Thank you.